Hey, y'all. Welcome to Austin 360 Studio Sessions, sponsored by Bud Light. I am your host, Amber Rebold, and you are not here to see me. You are here to see the amazing, incredible Angie McMahon, which, same, same, same. That is also why I'm here. But I want to tell you, if you're tuning in on Facebook Live, after Angie sings, we're going to do a little Q&A session. So if you have your deepest, darking, burning questions you need to ask, you will be allowed to do that. So type those questions in there, and when I come back after, I will ask Angie. So, without stalling any further, here's Angie. Hello. Hello. This song is called Keeping Time, and I wrote it without knowing what the, the title would be, so I just stole the title from the first lyric in the song. everyone um, the next song I'm gonna play is called stand out and I chose to play it because I'm here with my friend Alyssa from my record label Jewel Tone, and she's been looking after me very well she's over there and um, this is her favorite one I think or one of them so she says so this is for you Alyssa even though it's about um, heartbreak that bit's not for you but just the song You don't know me, but I 
that I can understand But you don't know what it's been Even though you're a rambling and dumb Why are you acting like it was just pretend Holding your head so high at the end I felt it all change today I felt this mess come undone was hoping you try to say something Just a little bit of love But you were standing up And I'm sleeping alone You were standing Now I'm sleeping time with me when I landed back home in the heat you forgot to be kind to me and I've never had air this clean no I'm the one responsible for half of the shit that went on in the way that we kept in touch for so long and I felt it all changed today but I still let my dress come undone I was hoping you would try to say something with a little bit of love, but you were standing down. And I was sleeping alone now. You were standing now. Now I'm sleeping. Now I'm sleeping. Are very kind, quiet, and kind. <laughs> We're gonna play two more songs. Um, this next one is called If You Call, and it's the final track on my album. Um, it's about friendship, and it has a bird whistle kind of thing happening in it. If you feel like joining in, you feel like you got the melody down, you want to have a whistle, please do. Even if you don't have it, you can just. Be a bird.
I'm putting down the heavy I just want to feel it Feel that I like who I'm becoming And feel alright in the quiet I know the sun Don't rise and set above me And I don't want you to come Turn on the light for you and if you go I'm gonna be bright for you and if you go Tell you something that I've learned as we've been watching people hurt. Oh, the loving that we've earned is gonna keep us breathing. Thanks so much for listening. Thank you for whistling. That was beautiful. I love when people do that. I always ask, they never do it.
Well, sometimes they're like... Anyway. Sorry, we're on live cameras. Um, I'm going to play my last song. I just realised all the songs I'm playing are in C and they all end on F. So if you've noticed that, I have too. And <laughs> that's all I have to say about it. Um, this song's called Pasta. I wrote it about being tired and I ate a whole lasagna and then I wrote the song. And that's the story. And I wanted it to sound like a Springsteen song, but I don't think it's quite there. I don't have my band, as you can see. I just have these two inanimate <laughs> objects. <laughs> um, thank you so much for having me, everybody, and Bud Light. Um, it's a pleasure to be in Austin.
so much. Angie, I know we just met a few hours and it might be soon, but I love you. <laughs> I love you. Oh. So that song, Pasta, I just want to say, like, that's so real. I think a lot of us can identify. Oh, thanks. I sit in my house making noises and eating too much, so I get that. I think we all do that. Yeah, a lot of people had questions for you. Oh, thank you. But I kind of want to start with this one. It's not really a question, it's more of a statement. I just want everyone to know that when you were, like, four and a half years old, you won a competition. Yes. Where you opened for Bon Jovi. That's how old I was. I was four. Four and a half, seven, somewhere in that range. It was yeah. 2013, so she was like yeah. just born. Wait, that got dramatic quickly. Um, <laughs> Jane, <Let's> move <laughs> moving right along. Jane asked, "What is your impression of Texas so far, and how does it compare to Australia?" Oh, well, there's similar things because there's a long way to drive, and it's yes. very big, mm -hmm. and it's hot, particularly right now. It's basically the same. It's <laughs> yeah, it's more humid here. Oh, that's, yeah, but I would hope. Um, it's different as well. Like, I don't have the words. I actually like that. We Texans are proud, so having no words, we're just going to take that as a compliment. Okay, good, I'm so sorry. Um, no, I love it. You speak and sing a lot about mental health and mm -hmm. emotional well-being. Mm -hmm. um, is What do you most hope to accomplish with your music? Um, I think to connect with people, and I think with the with the mental health stuff, it's like I speak about it and I sing about it because it helps me a lot to do that when I have struggles with my mental health and I think it helps other people to talk about and be open about their own struggles and I have found hearing other people be open about it helps me so hopefully yeah. that's just like being part of the chain of openness and um, I think that can take, that can give a lot of relief and take some of the pressure off those things and the saddest and hardest parts of mental health struggles are when you feel like you're really isolated or when you feel like you can't talk about it or you feel like you're there's something wrong with you and I think that yeah. um, I can't I don't want to feel like that when I'm on the road and when I'm having struggles and when everything's so busy it's like everything is easier for me if I'm open about it so hopefully it's just like a positive movement of that being yeah. more common yeah. sharing is caring sharing is caring and we live in Overshareville USA at this point in <laughs> 2019 which I love personally I love that too um <laughs> Which, speaking of you writing your songs, um, Alice asked, what's your process for writing? Is there anything specific you do for inspiration? Um, I listen to other musicians a lot. And um, if I f and, and often when I go to gigs, I will like feel inspired. And I try and like take notes of my ideas in my phone as soon as possible so they don't disappear. Um, and I do a lot of like journal writing that is just like rambling, but sometimes later on turns into songs. <laughs> turns into something gold. <laughs> No, I wouldn't call it gold, actually. Oh, no. Don't okay. ever read. Uh, maybe like a copper. Yeah. Solid gentle, copper. Gentle bronze. A gentle bronze. Yeah. I like that. That's nice. <laughs> um, that actually brings me to my next point, which is that you're very soft-spoken. You're very sweet, but you're funny. Oh. If y'all haven't seen her Twitter, this girl is funny on Twitter, and you called yourself a turnip, <laughs> and that spoke to me because I'm a potato. Yeah. Can you talk to me about being a root vegetable? I think that we connect on this level. <laughs> we do. We really do. Why a turnip for you? Just, just like it's a fun one to say. Yeah, I, I, I don't know though. It just seemed like the most suitable word for how I felt that day. <laughs> <laughs> kind of turnipy, if I had to be honest. I was just yeah. a, I feel like a turnip. I love that. <laughs> Who have you learned from most musically? Is there a certain artist or maybe a mentor along the way? Mm, I've had some really great mentors and music teachers and stuff. I don't know if there's a single one that I would name my manager is also a really good mentor to me musically um big thief i don't know if you're familiar with the band big thief i will be adrian lenka who's the songwriter for that band is a really big musical inspiration for me because she's very free and natural in her songwriting and performing and i'm really inspired by that springsteen is one um so there's a lot of them just the people who really sing and write from near <laughs> this bit <laughs> the old sternum <laughs> Sternum songs. <laughs> Sternum songs. We're doing a, we're My creating second a lot record. of content. <laughs> so you definitely, I think you sing from the sternum because when you were doing so, um, I heard a lot of this very really, like sweet, quiet, wow, from the audience. And at one point, <laughs> I swear you were not really even moving your face, but like beautiful sounds were coming out. <laughs> so when you're singing, how much of it um, is you feeling the moment versus like, are you aware of some sort of like, okay, I have to be performing? Or are you just feeling it? How does... 
-hmm. How does performing work for you? Um, it can vary, but I really try to be in the feeling it thing. And I definitely was just then. I was there. Sometimes maybe a gig starts with like, you know, the first song or whatever you're trying to get into. Like, okay, I'm in performance mode and like there's people watching me. Like, don't pick your nose. Like, don't say anything <laughs> rude. Sing well. And then... Sing well. Um, <laughs> but I, I, I really like using music as the channel to like... Um, process my feelings and particularly at the minute like I have a lot of feelings and we're on the road and it's like we're traveling and stuff and then the moments when I get to sing is sort of like I get to tap into that so it's actually really nice to share it with people and mm. um, it feels good. Well I think we loved you sharing it with us and speaking of you being on tour will you tell us a little bit about what some of your next stops are and what album you're promoting and where people can get your music? Yes I can do that I can Please promote myself to the camera. Please, just a little bit. Just um, a little bit. My album is called Salt, and it's my first record, and it comes out on Friday, which I think is two days away. So that's very exciting. So that's yes. why I'm here to promote my album. And um, we're stopping off in lots of cities. So t tonight we go to Chicago and then Newport Folk Festival on Friday wow. and um, New York next week. And then I'm off to Ireland and um, Budapest and some other places for some festivals. Casual. Just casual. <laughs> Um, and then I come back to America in November to support Hosier, which will be fun. Yeah. Where, when, what? It's just, I think it's the other coast, whatever coast we're on, if sure. we're on one. We're well, not. I'm going to not stop It's the stop Washington, you at all. New York places. Is that, what coast is that? Uh, those are two different ones. Okay. But you know what? You'll be here, and that's all I'm that matters. I'm going to work we'll on my geography you. before I come back. It doesn't but matter. You do you. Really You've right. got other qualities, and it's mostly <laughs> being an amazing singer. So Definitely not geography. <laughs> but I'm going to be back in this continent <laughs> in November. <laughs> Goodbye. It's on our <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we actually, I mean, we can. We'll, we'll wrap it up just for, like, okay. your own, like, Thank well you so much. Um, thank you all so much for watching Austin 360 Studio Sessions, sponsored by Bud Light. This is Angie McMahon. Thank <laughs> you.